In the last couple of lectures, we have implemented routing for our Angular application and that routing is working as expected. So now in our Angular application, we can navigate around using these links. So the routing is working as expected. Now what we want is, we also want to style the active link. So currently this courses is the active link because we are in root URL slash courses page. So this courses link should be the active link. If I go to contact, in that case, this contact link should be active link because the path is root URL slash contact. In the same way, if I go to about page, this about link should be the active link. And when I go to home page, this home link should be the active link. So what we want is we want to style the active link in some way so that the user will know looking at the link itself that in which page he is currently in. Or in terms of Angular, we can say that looking at the link, the user will come to know which view has been rendered currently in the web page. So we want to style the currently active link. We can do that in two simple steps. Let's go to VS Code. And in the first step, what we need to do is we need to create a CSS class. So let's go to style.css. And there I have already created this CSS class. I'm calling it active and there I'm simply setting the font size and the font weight. So it is this CSS class which I want to apply on the active link. And in the second step, all we have to do is we need to go to the place where we have defined our links and I have done that in header component.html file. So here we are creating these links, this home link, about link, contact link and courses link. And on that we are already using this router link directive. Now on these links, we are going to use another directive called router link active. So the name of the directive is router link active. And again, it is an attribute directive. And to that, we need to assign a CSS class. Now currently I have not wrapped it within square brackets, so I'm not using it like an attribute directive. So I can simply go ahead and I can pass this CSS class name to this directive like this. But if I wrap it within square brackets like this, in that case, within these double quotes, it is expecting a TypeScript expression. But here, we want to assign it with a CSS class name. So this active, it is a CSS class name. And I want to assign this CSS class name to this router link active directive. But since we have wrapped it within square brackets, within these double quotes, it is expecting a TypeScript expression. So now what we need to do is, we need to wrap this active within single quotes like this and now in this way we are assigning a string value to this attribute directive and we need to do it on all the links so let me copy this line from here and let's go ahead and let's add it on all the links which we have created here and that's it if i save the changes and if we go back to the web page now you will notice that the active link is highlighted. So its font size is bigger than other links and it is also bold. If I go to about page, you will notice that this link is also highlighted. If I go to contact link, in that case, this link is also highlighted. And if I go to courses link, then this link is highlighted. So whichever route is active for that route, its link is highlighted. The router link active is a directive for adding or removing classes from an HTML element that is bound to a router link. Using this directive, we can toggle CSS classes for active route link based on the current route state. And the main use case of this directive is to highlight which route is currently active. So as you can see, using the router link active directive, we are able to highlight which route is currently active. Now, one very important point to keep in mind is that when a child route is active, then all the parent routes are also marked as active. And in that case, the CSS class which we have assigned to router link active directive that will also get set for all the active parent routes. Let's actually understand that with an example. Let's go to VS Code. And for now, what I will do is for this home link, I will set the router link to empty string. Okay, that means root URL. Let me save the changes. Let's go to the web page 
and let me first go to root URL so localhost colon 4200 in this case since this path is defined for this home route you see we have specified the path as empty string so that means for this home route the path will be root URL so in that case this home link should be active and that's what we will see here but from here if I go to about page you will notice that the view of about page has been rendered and about page is now the active link but with that the home page is also shown as active it is styled with the active CSS class that's because in this case this about is the child link and for this child link this root URL is its parent link and for the root URL we have created a route for which the link name is home and for this route for this path root URL slash about we have created a route for which the link is about in this case currently this child link is active so that's why this about is styled but for this child link its parent link will be also marked as active in this case for this link the parent link is root URL so that will also get marked as active and that's why this home is also styled if I go to contact you will notice that home and contact are styled because this contact is the child link and for this child link this root URL is the parent link and for the parent link the link name is home so home and contact both are styled both are marked as active and that's why the CSS style has been applied on both home and contact I hope you got the point now in order to resolve this problem what we can do is we can use another directive and the directive name is router link active options okay and here to this router link active options and it should be router link so to this router link active options directive we want to assign an object so we will have to use it like an attribute directive and then we can go ahead and we can assign an object to it and in that object we are going to set the exact property and we are going to set it to true and this will make sure that the active CSS class basically this class which we are assigning to this router link active directive that only gets applied to those routes whose route path exactly matches the current URL path okay so we are going to use this on all the links so I'll copy it and we are going to paste it for all the links basically here we are simply setting some options for the router link active directive so you can get it from this name all right with this if I save the changes and if we go to the web page here we have an error and it says type is not assignable to type exact I think I have misspelled it okay it should be exact so there is a spelling mistake let me replace it in all these four places all right let's save the changes now let's go back to the web page we don't have any error and now you will notice that only the active child route has been styled its parent route is not styled if I go to about page there also only the about page has been styled if I go to home page only the home page has been styled so now that issue is no more there so this is one thing I wanted to show you in this lecture all right now I will go back and I will change the path for this home link to home instead of empty string okay so just remember that when the child route is active then all the parent routes are also marked as active and the router link active directive is applied to the active child route and all its parent routes and to avoid this behavior we can use router link active options directive and there we can set the exact property to true 